It was 27 years ago that I received the call from a dear friend named Laura. Calls us on the phone and says, I have this beautiful black mare. Her name is City Blues, or CB for short. She was a fourth level dressage horse that had competed and done very well. When she was young, she had been kicked in the shoulder as a baby and her shoulder was destroyed and she went to the, one of the finest hospitals in the States and they did an ortho orthoscopic surgery and replaced part of, if not all of her shoulder. Before Laura received her, her owners saw her change and her owners saw her starting to uh, succumb to her injury, her young injury that had now gotten older. And they took her out of the program. They took her out of competing and they kind of tossed her aside, this beautiful black Hanoverian mare. And Laura, because she loves horses, said, I'll take her and I'll take care of her. A couple years after Laura had received her and taken her under her care, she called me on the phone and she said, Troy, I've got this beautiful black mare that I think would be great for the ranch. I think she would be awesome for children. CB became one of our four original horses that came to the ranch now 28 years ago. She came um, as a bright, exciting, wonderful, and yet there were days when you could see her injury, you could see her movement and her injury was giving her trouble. During her life here, she served the ranch in an amazing way. She gave birth to four beautiful foals that we later um, sold to help fund the ranch and they went on to compete in dressage all over the country. Her fifth foal is Eclipse. It was August of 2003 and, and uh, CB was showing the signs of, of giving birth and, and she was super fun to watch because she would always kind of find a quiet place and, and she always allowed us to be a part of that. And she laid down and she was quietly going through the, the process of giving birth to Eclipse and it was powerful and wonderful and when Eclipse was born she was this gangly, tall, all legs, um, wild little mare that it didn't take her more than Oh, I don't know, maybe three or four minutes and she was up and she was nursing. Um, I had a chance to rub her down and to, to just get her ready for human touch. And in no time, she was trotting around the arena with her mom. Such a beautiful picture of, of a new life um, that God had created. She was at first my horse and, and her and I spent many hours, many days in the mountains enjoying the, the trails of Central Oregon. She has become one of the most faithful, kind-hearted um, session horses that we have here on the ranch. As she's aging, we're seeing time like her mother um, just take its toll. The reason I share this story and the reason I, I want to communicate Eclipse's life to you is that her life would have never happened had it not been for CB, for City Blues a horse that was injured. Some of you watching this, you may be struggling through um, an injury, whether it's physical or maybe emotional. And you're wondering, am I even useful to the world around me? Do I have a purpose? God, do you have a plan for me? Do you have something that I can do? Yeah, he does. He is faithful. And he has proven time and time again that no matter the scar, no matter the injury, no matter what's happened before, we still have a plan or we still have a purpose um, in this life, in this world. CB loved kids, hundreds if not thousands of them before she went home to be with the Lord in a way that was powerful in spite of her injury. Eclipse was born and has served this ranch for 20 years from a mare that was so deeply and profoundly injured. And Eclipse has become an incredible part of our team. God has a plan. And I don't know what you're struggling with right now. I don't know what's going on in your life, what kind of injury you may be going through. But rest assured, if there's still breath in your lungs, there's still life in you, there's still purpose. There's still a reason to be here, to love those around you, to care for those around you, to, to be an extension of the love of Jesus to the world around you. I wanna share a scripture with you. And most of you, if not all of you already know it, it's in Jeremiah 29, chapter 11. And what the prophet Jeremiah was sharing with 
and writing in scripture was to the children of Israel. Guys, I know you're in trouble. I know you're in exile. I know you're in a painful place. But this is what the Lord God Almighty says to you. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. CB came to this place maybe a little broken, maybe a little battered, certainly injured. And she gave her all. And there are kids today, families today, that have enjoyed her presence, that have felt the presence of Jesus because of her. Today, as you go out into your life and as you go out into the world, and, and maybe there's things that are, that are difficult, maybe there's a limp, maybe there, who knows what there is going on. You can still love, you can still care, you can still speak kindness, you can still be a blessing to those around you. My prayer for you is that in spite of what's happened, you will step forward in a graceful way for those around you and for your Jesus. Thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.